Today we're doing Coachella outfits. Let's play dress up. Hey, it's your girl Denise and I hope you missed me. Today I thought it would be really fun to create some Coachella outfits inspired by the main headliner artists this year. And they are Lana Del Rey, Tyler the Creator, Doja Cat and No Doubt. You probably already know what Coachella is, but if you don't, Coachella is a very well-known music festival that happens every year in April in California. California. <laughs> I actually don't really have much experience going to festivals, but I went to a one day festival last summer and it was great. And here's my outfit, but I think I actually looked pretty good. I would definitely love to go to more festivals in the future and obviously Coachella would be a dream. So uh, let me just manifest it. <laughs> let a girl dream. If you have been to Coachella, let me know how was your experience. Okay, let me show you what I created. So first up we have Lana Del Rey. So for Lana, we definitely need to do something very vintage, very girly looking, ribbons, lace, which is something you're going to be seeing all over Coachella. The girlies are going to be rocking it. Um, then we have gingham, jeans, ruffles, headscarves, bloomers, and baby doll dresses. And do I even need to say this? I think the color palette is going to be a pretty obvious one. Um, it's going to be pink, white, red, and baby blue. Okay, so one of the first things that I looked at were these 60s swimsuits. I love them so much. They look so damn cute and the top and bottom matching is just everything. They just look super comfy and I think they would be perfect for a festival. Like, it's a swimsuit, you don't need to worry about sweating, you know? Okay, let's look at some Pinterest girly outfits. I think they perfectly execute the vibe that I'm going for. Oh my god, stop. I'm literally obsessed with the outfit on the right with the Pepsi logo. Uh, just if anyone knows where the lacy bloomers are from, please let me know. I need to have them. They're perfect. And for hair, I was thinking definitely braids with maybe like little cute girly details like lace, flowers and the ribbons. Or maybe we can do a little crochet hat or a headscarf. Okay, yeah, I think I'm definitely doing that. It looks super cute. The second artist of today is No Doubt or Gwen Stefani. She certainly had a very alternative look back in the 90s. Gwen was a fan of wearing a lot of tank tops, tracksuit bottoms, trousers with a lot of hardware details, bikini tops, a lot of prints like plaid tartan, leopard print, camo print, and also clothing pieces that have a rasta flag on them. This queen truly popped off with making iconic outfits back in the day and I feel very inspired. And some other keywords that I wrote down is that she's very 90s, punk, experimental, low-waisted, big belts and wristbands. I'm really excited to recreate the look that she's wearing on the left image. I love that outfit and she's wearing camo and camo is one of my favorite prints. <laughs> Get, 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 get. 
Next up we have Dojika and I love her so so much and honestly I'm jealous of the people who have seen her live because she's just an amazing performer. Some of Doja's keywords are a very experimental, a bit random and fun, scandalous of course, tight fit, funny hat, thong and mini skirt. Okay I have been super obsessed with the gold Lucilla Safdie matching set ever since I saw it and I'm still not over it, I want it. Tell me this is not the perfect outfit for Coachella. Like, come on, your friends would not lose you any second. You're gonna be shining like a gold star. I think we definitely need to do accessories and makeup that stands out. So, very chunky necklaces, bracelets, um, and yeah, just fun makeup. Also, a lot of unique looking clothing pieces or textures. For hair, I think it would be super fun to do something a bit experimental. Not really sure how achievable this would be for a festival, but hey, they look good. Some of them are more doable than others, and I'm certainly stealing this piercing idea because it's too cute. Also, the one with the hairpins, that looks so cool. I'm sure a friend could help you out and you could have that look. Let me show you the looks I pulled. As the last one we have Tyler the Creator and I'm gonna lie I kind of struggled with this one maybe because it's the most simple one and for Tyler I wrote down flowers grandpa style a leopard print and stripes tie or neck scarf monochrome lacoste as in the brand and needless to say I think you already know the color palette it's definitely gonna be very bright and happy colors yellow pink blue green and brown actually I think we need red as well and now some inspo photos. I think a Lacoste cardigan around the waist or shoulders would look really cute. And girl, look at that knit matching set. It's adorable. 
I'm obsessed with a vintage tennis dress in the middle. Look at the shape, it looks amazing. And I also really like the outfit on the right. It has some color, has striped socks, and it just looks super comfy. For this one, the hair inspo is pretty simple, but a little playful. And for the accessories, you can go a little bit crazy, maybe do some pins, some necklaces. You can just make it look fun. Okay, that's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really curious to know which one was your favorite fit, so let me know down in the comments. Give this video a like, and also if you would want to see more from me, then subscribe. I would really appreciate it. That would uh, make my day. But yeah, I hope you enjoy your day, your evening, whatever time it is. <laughs> Peace out. Just disappear. <laughs>